guys and gals. Xavier here for Home of the Earth. Signing in from Nelsprit, where I just spent my first night in Pumalanga. Resupplied, got some sunscreen because the weather forecast is calling for a sunny journey through Pumalanga. Which I'll be doing on the bicycle, but you guys don't have to do any pedaling, so don't have to worry about that. You can just enjoy the sights, which from what I've researched, there will be many. Let's get it going. And thankfully it will not be on the loud and busy highway that we just saw will be we're currently heading to Sebi taking the panorama route We've made it to Sebi, and apparently there is a <clears throat> camp here, so let's go check that out. So I got some good rest at that camp there. And I thought that maybe I would spend the day in, in Sebi because I saw that uh, there was some hiking nearby with some waterfalls. But spoke to some of my fellow campmates who had uh, done a hike and they said that it was nice, but good morning. Hello, hello, how's it? Good, yourself? Uh, and they had said that it wasn't super spectacular. And since I have a feeling we're going to see a few waterfalls here in Pumalanga, that it wasn't really worth a day off the road to go see those ones. So hopefully we get to see some nice stuff today anyways. So I just stopped into the town of Grasskop as part of my second attempt at seeing a waterfall. But unfortunately all the waterfalls uh, require payment to go see them. And I kind of knew this in advance or thought that would be the case, but um, 
I imagine that there would be a way to kind of sneak around and get some some glimpses of it but they were actually really well positioned kind of in gorgeous so that you couldn't see them without paying the entrance and since I've done quite a bit of traveling in the last few years and I've seen quite a lot of waterfalls and I don't typically or ever pay for to see them I think I will just continue along the journey but worry not uh, there is a few things coming up that I definitely will pay for and that I've heard are definitely worth the price of admission but first we gotta get there been priced out again. Um, I was planning to see Bork's Luck Potholes, which is rock formations, but uh, the entry fee is 63 Rand, which is quite expensive. It's more than 40 US dollars. Um, planned to stop here in this town, but since I feel like cycling, this works out. Hello! Hey! Shop shop! Oh, okay. So now I get to take a shot at making it to the uh, next town, which is where the grand finale is. And I've heard it's only 30 Rand, so I will definitely be going to that one. Skipping all the appetizers, the bread, the salad, going for the steak. So either I missed the turnoff for the viewpoint for the three rendezvous or you had to go through this resort to get to it, which is where I am now because they had a camping option, but I wasn't so thrilled when they told me the price, 290 I managed to negotiate down to 200 which is still expensive. So negotiated down from $20 to $14. But then I was a little bit uh, relieved when I found out that, that did include, uh, well, this what you're about to see. Pretty amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this journey through Pumalanga. I definitely did. Another beautiful part of South Africa. One of many that I've encountered bicycling through this country in the last uh, three months. Next, I'll be bicycling through my final province, Limpopo, before heading into Zimbabwe. I'm also looking forward to that. And I've also added a few new uh, videos onto the Patreon. So that's for people that are uh, pledging a few dollars a month to uh, support this journey. If you'd also like to support the Hum of the Earth, you can find the Patreon link 
uh, below the video in the video description. I was here as part of my journey bicycling from Cape Town, South Africa to Cairo, Egypt. Before that, I bicycled from Canada to Southern Patagonia and Argentina, and all those videos are available on this YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I've been and everything that I got to see and do, I have that available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com, where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos I've made of these places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, bicycling through Africa, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and by clicking on the bell to notify to be notified when new videos come out. All right, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.